How's it going YouTube? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a look at the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the Obsidian and University Blue colorway. This amazing pair is set to drop August 31st for $160 US dollars or $215 here in Canada. So the official colorway for this shoe is Sail, Obsidian and University Blue. For those of you guys watching from Canada, this pair will be available at The Closet Inc. So The Closet Inc. is a sneaker boutique located out of Southern Ontario and on August 31st they will be dropping this so I'll add their social media, their website, all that good stuff down below. So be sure to check them out, support the independent shops, and tell them I sent you. So straight off the bat I gotta tell you guys, this pair is beautiful. For a sneaker that's not a collab and it's not something limited edition, I'm pretty sure this pair is gonna end up on many people's top 10 lists of the year. So jumping straight into the review, the base layer of the sneaker is constructed using the sail or off-white colored leather. This leather feels very nice, very soft to the touch, and across the toe box we have these perforations which is commonly found on the Air Jordan 1. Wrapping around the edge of the toe box, here we have this obsidian or navy blue colored leather. In comparison to the sail leather, this obsidian leather isn't nearly as good, however it wasn't bad either. As we move to the sides of the shoe, so again we have that sail leather, and then overlaid on top of this, we have this Nike swoosh that's done in obsidian. Wrapping around the back end of the shoe, here we have the introduction of this University Blue colored leather. Similar to the sail leather, this University Blue leather is also very very nice. It feels super soft again, and just pressing it lightly you can see those natural crease lines found in the leather. On the lateral side only, we have the Air Jordan Wings logo debossed in black. And then at the very top of the ankle collar, here we have that obsidian leather once again. In terms of laces, so these come standard with obsidian flat laces, but they also give you a secondary pair of university blue colored laces if you want to give the shoe a bit more pop and contrast. Underneath the laces we have your standard nylon tongue. This is done in an off-white or sail color, and at the very top we have this Nike Air tag done in a combination of obsidian and university blue. Pulling out the insoles, so these come with your standard Air Jordan 1 insole, so this is entirely done in obsidian with Nike Air on the heel in university blue. So the upper of these Air Jordan 1s sits atop the sail colored midsole and encapsulated underneath the heel but not visible to the eye, we have a Nike Air Sole unit. Turning these guys over to the bottom, so here we have your standard Air Jordan 1 outsole. So this is entirely done in this obsidian colored rubber and then we have the circular traction pattern on the forefoot along with the Nike logo in the middle. So in terms of sizing, these fit exactly like all my other Air Jordan 1 highs. So for me, that means 10.5. For most people, that means sticking true to size. So whatever size you normally are in the Air Jordan 1s, I'd recommend just sticking with that same size. From a comfort standpoint, so nothing crazy here, this fits and feels exactly like all my other Air Jordan 1s. So with that said, it's going to give me a ton of ground feel, I'm going to feel very stable to the ground, but don't expect anything in terms of a plushness and softness standpoint. And then last but not least, quality, so I touched upon this earlier before, the quality on this shoe was very impressive. I was very happy with the overall build, and specifically the sail leather and the university blue colored leather were both very very impressive. Is it too much to ask for all Air Jordan ones to be manufactured in this way? So with all that being said, now let me lace up these Jordan 1s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Everything from the color scheme, the color blocking, the quality of the materials used, everything in my opinion was amazing. If you can't tell by now, this is one of my favorite drops so far of the year. And fortunately for most of you guys, this is not a super limited collab type of release. So while it still may be tough to grab this pair, you're going to have a better chance than say something like the Travis Scott ones. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this Obsidian and University Blue colored Air Jordan 1. Are you guys going to be trying to grab these on August 31st or is this going to be a pass for you? Once again, if you guys are watching from Canada, check out The Closet Inc. Their link is down below. So they will be dropping this on August 31st. So be sure to give them a follow and check them out. 
So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this early look. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next video.